Hello everyone, Lifewater here with another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at Valkyr, the Tormented, the Experiment. With this build, you're going to be able to swiftly take down high priority targets like Acolytes and Demolists with Valkyr's deadly talons. Paired with Octavia's Resonator, her personal ball of yarn charms enemies and groups them up for you to rip and tear through while also being able to focus on the Acolytes and Demolists themselves. Stay alive, own the battlefield, and take control of her rage. This is Valkyr. Valkyr is driven by Feral Rage, rending her prey with her deadly claws. Personally, I think Valkyr is one of the worst frames in the game actually, or at least lies at the bottom of the barrel due to being fairly outdated. However, she has a few niche builds that work well for certain situations like this, taking down those Acolytes and Demolists, and she does so pretty easily. With the help of Helminth, you can make up for some of her flaws and really own the battlefield. I replaced Valkyr's first ability, Ripline, with Octavia's Resonator. Ripline is simply a gimmicky mobility tool that feels very outdated and unneeded, considering bullet jumping and parkour exists. Parkour! 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 I'm right behind Woo! you, Andy! Come on! Do it! Yeah! One of Valkyr's flaws is crowd control, as all she really has is a slow on Warcry and a knockdown on Paralysis. They aren't that potent or consistent, so adding Resonator grants Valkyr just that. Plus, what's a cat without her ball of yarn? The focal point of the build are Valkyr's talons, her signature exalted melee weapons wielded when her fourth ability, Hysteria, is active. The trick with these weapons is that the talons do a lot of damage from the slide attack, dealing up to 750 damage per strike and scaling accordingly. That's three times more than the regular attacks and 1.5 times more than the aerial attacks. And since the talons are also packed with high crit chance, you can deal millions of damage in red crits with one simple slide attack. Modding for the frame itself, I focus on range and duration. Simply that. Valkyr wants some strength to amp up her talon damage as well as the potency of Warcry's attack speed buff, armor buff, and the slow it deals on enemies. I go for duration as well, because Resonator and Warcry are purely duration-based abilities, and you generally want them active for as long as possible. Duration also works well with the Augment mod Enraged, which increases damage and critical chance by 200%, but causes Hysteria to last 15 seconds with a matching cooldown. With more duration, you get a longer period to go berserk and slash through your enemies, while still having the option to disable the ability if you don't want to wait a long cooldown. The great thing about Enraged is it allows you to really lay into the Demolists and Acolytes, given the fact that it gives you that extra damage and critical chance on top of an already really strong Exalted melee. Demolists nullify in an aura every 5 seconds, disabling all Warframe abilities within range and on itself, so staying in Hysteria is actually quite difficult with Valkyr. Instead of using the innate Hysteria, and not only having your abilities cancelled, but now your energy drained, using Enraged for some extra damage and crit with a one-time activation cost is ideal. Demolists and Acolytes will go down very quickly with this build, so you're only really staying in Hysteria for around 5 seconds anyways, giving you only a 5 second matching cooldown, instead of draining 5 seconds worth of energy. With my 3 staple mods, I include Transient Fortitude and Umbral Intensify for Strength, Primed Continuity and Augur Message for Duration, 
primed flow for a large energy pool, and natural talent for faster casting. Valkyr's abilities, especially Warcry, have pretty lengthy cast animations, so natural talent helps out a lot. Top that off with the Augment Enraged, and you're good to go. Nothing too fancy or out of the ordinary here. As far as her talons go, they are limited to certain mods. Not being able to equip melee combo counter mods with the exception of Drifting Contact, Acolyte mods such as Blood Rush, or any of the Amalgam mods. I went for an Acolyte and Demolist killing build, which focused on high Viral damage. Viral has a 50% damage bonus to Flesh and a 75% damage bonus to Cloned Flesh, which is the typing for the Grenier Demolists. The Talons hit hard with their high crit chance, so using flat Viral damage makes her Talons one of the deadliest weapons in the system. The slide attacks hit for hundreds of thousands to millions of damage, taking down Demolists in only a couple of slide attacks after their armor is removed. For her Talons, I did use Condition Overload for damage, since I still usually primed the enemies before ripping through them, adding even more damage to the total. Since Blood Rush cannot be used, I went with Sacrificial Steel for the crit chance. I then used Primed Reach for the range, Gladiator Might for the critical damage, and Gladiator Vice for the attack speed. I went with the two Gladiator mods for an extra critical hit enhancement, which made every single slice a beautiful juicy red crit. I didn't have an Umbral Forma to fit North Wind, so I had to use Primed Fever Strike with Vicious Frost to make Viral. If you really want to min-max this build, throw on an Umbral Forma so you can also fit North Wind pushing the damage even further. I then top that off with Prime Smite Grenier for that multiplicative faction damage. When you're playing Valkyr, roll out your ball of yarn to charm enemies and control a large part of the room, allowing you to stalk your real prey. Make sure you prime and armor strip your targets so you can maximize the viral damage to flesh and cloned flesh. If you want to min-max even further, you might even want to take a primer that doesn't have viral on it since you're mainly doing viral damage. For instance, using something like a Cedo without Viral damage on it, or a Kufa Nucor that isn't modded for Viral. Against Acolytes, that's all you'll need. But against Demolists, be wary of their nullifying aura. What I like to do is wait for it to pulse, then start my attack so I can keep track of when it will pulse again. It goes off every 5 seconds, so keep sliding through the Demolist back and forth to dodge through the nullifying pulse. If the enemy is primed and stripped of armor, it only takes a few passes to ensure they are taken down. Sometimes even one is good enough. Like I said, these slide attacks will do millions of damage to the Demolists and take them down super fast. If you aren't a fan of disruption, however, and want something better suited for regular enemies, Simply switch the status type on your Talons to match what you're up against. Corrosive against the Grenier, Toxin against the Corpus, or Gas against the Infested. Regardless, you'll still be red critting and hitting for those huge millions of damage, tearing through anything in your path. Thank you all so much for clicking on another video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the build and any other Helminth options you may have tried. I myself have dabbled with Grendel's Nourish, which is fantastic against the Corpus, or even Banshee's Silence for another crowd control option. The level cap challenge is almost over, so make sure to tune in live on Twitch to catch the final three frames. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as I would greatly appreciate it. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.